Hello everybody and welcome. I am the beat up plan and this is Imperator Rome in which we find ourselves back staring at Mario. I bought myself actually 75 points of oratory power but by the time I was able to declare once again on the Marian revolt considering my truce I didn't have enough power yet to make a claim. Besides, the Marian Revolt did well after I went in and took care of Mario, but before that it had a hard time. And I was considering that also for my next attack. And my next attack is going to be actually on Mario. Because those, and I'm sure that there are some of you around who have been very observant, the time of skip I've made for you is incredible. It's been a while, and our truce with Myra is about to end. And this time, I've decided to go actually for a very different province, and that's the province of Anka. I want to grab over here, and I want to even go into Samata, because I don't know why, but Mario didn't even colonize that. They, um, idiots. And here, there's uh, some war up here. We don't care about that. Much Tabiana is currently has its own very big re uh, revolt, which is kind of interesting, because, well, it, it, it lies in shambles. I haven't seen Kosor yet go to war with Parnia, and I don't know why, but Parnia nowadays has two name splits. I, I do not know exactly what happens. Extreme, interestingly enough, and I do really find this interesting, is that the Bosporus Kingdom, I hope that war is still going on, yeah, is fighting a war, this war is fought over no war goal. The computer actually does this. The AI. I am utterly surprised normally that needs to be a player if you go to war for North war goal but they didn't uh, as for rome rome has been expanding but uh well they have had a war another war with macedonia is definitely keeping them uh well at bay right now i mean they're they're, they're winning i mean uh, i know it says minus 26 but that's not because macedonia is winning because if i go here it's still minus 26 you just have to look at who is the aggressor but that's not even the only war they have. So Rome is, is, is actually a wee little bit impeded as Carta Carthage over here is, is getting growing a little bit stronger. Though they did lose the island of Sardinia. They did lose that. But they actually united lands over here. So that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, Moria, it is about time to attack. And I'm going to... Oh, that is the region map mode. Which means we are going to get a new uh, governor. But we're going to go for Anga and, and Vanga. And why do we want to do that? Well, we kind of want their capital to be very near to our border. So that every time we wage war... Well, it is just a stone throw away from where we are. Uh, so this is Anga and Vanga. Uh, Anga and Vanga are also 175 and 195, which are the best. The other one is Anupa. Anupa is over here, is also at the border. I might want to grab that one as well, but we're going to go with the highest one, which is Anga. So we're going to wait. I mean, we can't claim war anyways because of the truce, and we can wait in war because we always have to wait anyways, so it doesn't really matter. I've actually decided myself to get 2% more recovery speed, just to see what was beneath it, and there you go, army recovery speed. I like that, and there is Omen Power, so that's why I actually took one over here in the religious section. Uh, we're making good buck, I really want to make use of that good buck in order to uh, grab some mercenaries probably. I know there's an army of the Marian Revolt going up here, about 24 cases in size. And recently, Mario took a little piece of land over here, these two. So, I guess there's an army of them over there. All kinds of things to keep in mind. But because we're going for these provinces, I'm denied legitimacy. Ignore this wild claim. Word has reached us that has been spreading dangerous rhetoric that calls into question my right to rule. Publicly repute his lies. We lose two legitimacy of the hundred, and he loses ten loyalty. Or I will just take the legitimacy law on loss, because... Legitimacy, it doesn't impact actually that greatly. This is my legitimacy. It means uh, the next ruler's legitimacy will be lowered a little bit. That is unfortunate. I admit that. And there is a maximum loyalty, primary air attraction, and national freeman happiness. Now, the freeman happiness, I think, is the most important thing. By the way, I can't marry out this, this chap because he's the son of... Um, really, really still is like that. But for all the things that I dislike at this game, or I should say have... have proposals to improve it, there are some interesting things also about the game. 
because I am starting to learn more and more and more about it, and I think I would definitely have done a few things different knowing these uh, at the beginning, if I had known these at the beginning. First and foremost, let's not forget that I always got way too little money in RP deals because I, I misunderstood the button uh, controls for that, so I will look into that. By the way, stability is plus three on Mario, that's crazy high, but they have only 96 cohorts. We have 180. We almost value them combined, so that is really interesting. By the way, this is a new guy. His father died. He still took over the revolt, so that is also a good thing to note. A revolt will continue on, even if the original uh, initiator of the war died. But what I was going to show you is actually our technology. We are at 13, 13, 14, 13, right? Remember those. So let's just say triple 13. Here's 10, 11, 11, 10. This is much lower. But if we look at the city-states, 15, 16, 16, holy moly, here as well. Very, very high, and I realized, wait, that is actually logical, because they won't use as much points like we are trying to do to move people around or have different issues. They can just go at it, and that is just their bonus. Making, in a sense, it's silly, because you would think that a large realm would be capable of actually generating more power, but... um. I think it's the point is, uh, this makes them a little stronger, the, the city-states, and they can use probably every advantage they can get. By the way, why do I have an army stationed over here? Well, actually, um, these bastard barbarians that are over in this region, uh, well, in this region to be exact, they s they respond and they, they captured here all kinds of things, but they also captured one of mine. Look at the civilization, it's only one. They actually lowered the civilization value of this province by 10 by claiming it. Which is why I put a small army in there, because that army was already big enough to destroy them. We're just waiting for the opportunity to attack. It is going to be on the November, and that is why I waited for you before recording. One more last little thing, if you know, like, hey, there are two different people now over here. That's right, because this is the Kalinga, and this is the Kalinga Revolt. And, well, they're... They have access through me, and they can march through me, but they're not doing it. And yeah, here is Maria still gaining land, so I assume soon, soon, there it is, 14.2. Good to know. That's too strong for me. I gotta get out of here and get ready to fight over here. Actually, I say it's too strong for me, but I don't know what their unit types are, and I have a pretty decent war elephant heavy troop thing over here. By the way, I also like having waited a while to attack Mario again because our aggressive expansion when we could have attacked the Mario and Revolt was about 30, now it's about 70.21, which means we can deal an even mightier blow. We can declare war, we can take Anga. Boom bada bing, we are at war. So, we are going to take over Anga, but not only that, we're going to divide some troops. If we can. Create a new unit. Yes, we can. But preferably of units that do not have... Yeah. Have a heavy impact on their... On their... Uh, I'm trying to think of the word and for... I, I cannot. I just don't know. Heavy impact on the uh, attrition value on, on what they need to have or to go. By the way, I don't need to capture this province because nowadays we have two forts over here. I've also been spending some money on building. Um, okay, so you are a little bit more divided. You have camels actually in this army. Alright. Um, let's pick an archer. Let's pick an archer. Let's select him. Let's go there. Let us pick an archer and an archer and let us go there. Or actually, let's just take capture this. That's already being captured, so we're gonna go to have to go the long way around, which is actually fine. Don't get me wrong. So this army was actually situated at the wrong point. My apologies. Didn't realize that this was an impassable terrain. My mistake. And there we go, civilization advance plus 2%. I wonder how far we are at civilization now in our main capital, because it should be pretty high up there. I was... Well, we can still grow a little bit, that's good. It's 89%, what's the maximum? 
91.50. Well, that's gonna take some time before we get and reach that, but... But yeah, let's get hop to it. I am curious to see... How quickly they might feel inclined to start offering peace deals. How big is the chance these barbarians will spawn again? Barbarian mode, I just showed you. Sorry, couldn't find for a moment. And it's there, but I am going to leave them. It's not high enough for me to care, basically. Um, and yeah, this time we are going to walk towards their capital pretty uh, much happily, because this time it is so near the entire war goal. Which is the province behind them, and I kind of want to grab this part, as I said, and then move people perhaps over here in order to start civilizing that piece up. I am uh, quite keen on moving forward. Uh, let's select you two. Let's grab you. Because with everything we do separate, we are faster at sieging, which is good. And I don't expect in this backland to come across many of their troops. Ooh, they're over battle over. What? The Marion Revolt is being kicked? By, by half their size? That's amazing! Like, really, how do you do that? Um, because every time I try something like that, it's like, nope. And they're still pushing up over here. So this is just a rear guard. I'm not going to push much forward with them. That is just a dumb idea, in my opinion. Alright, let's see. Do we have any good... We can do Omen Power plus 5%. Monthly general loyalty. Yes, Grand Triumph. That is a good one. Generals need to stay loyal to me. To you in general as a ruler if you want to continue on. Population dying is not good, but that's what expected. What is expected in these type of wars. Whoa! There you already are. Um, these are two archers, so they will die. Let's not make a mistake about that. They're dead. Totally destroyed. That's not a problem. It's a shame, don't get me wrong, but... We are victorious. Ooh, they actually battled us. They came across and they lost. Nice. So what are you made up of? Of a lot of cohorts, but I'm going to move in because I... Oh, I don't have access for you. Access actions? I cannot have access for you. You're not willing to allow me that access. Okay. Well, that is, that, that is, that is just a thing then. You are retreating. Alright. There is now a scorn... No, we're starving pops. Sorry, that's not Scorn family. Let's build that extra granary. They are at 18. Alright, that's fine. They're at 17, by the way. I can't count, apparently. I lost the ability to count, folks. <laughs> you heard it here first. Where are you going? What do you want to do? Move these folks up. In fact, you go over here, because I'm a little leery about starting anything major. It's interesting to note that they have now an army in the back, because they used to lack this. Uh, they've actually gone away from there. Alright. Alright. 
Because you actually want the smallest armies to si do the sieging, so you can lose the least amount of men. I have the least amount of trouble with uh, attrition, like this. Because that will just cost you money, will cost you mm, folk. Uh, for freedom, yeah, sure. There we go. How bad is it? Because, well, we're gaining a lot of people folks rather quickly okay you're pushing pushing down here and you're pushing up there it's gonna be interesting to see what you're gonna do um, are you willing to attack yes you are uh, let the looting be gentle All right, it's a, it's uh, ahead of us. It is now for us. He's changed his mind. We need to trap him over here. Okay. We got him trapped. I'm pretty positive that we got him locked in now. You are moving probably to... Pandhara, so we're gonna go over there, you're gonna go over there. And that should be... ...the thing she wrote. Um, we're gonna go and move up here with the small stacks. Which is dangerous, I am aware, I am aware, but... Uh, it will do us good. You are pushing down. Okay, so we need to stop this 4k. You can go start sieging that. And you can go start sieging that. As we take this little piece of Maria right now, I'm not sure if it will help much. The Marian Revolt is already taking pieces back, which is oh, exactly what I kind of hoped. I kind of want them to be the l as long as possible. In trouble, there is the 30,000. That battle went right in our favor this way. So, let's not get too, too greedy with our movements. There we go. We've beaten that army. Take the coastal region. This is still limping back. I can't see the 4,000 anymore. We need to call down an omen. How is our unrest right now? It is really good, but it, does this still... This still takes Vishnu into account, so... Let's do one more time Vishnu, because we're gonna get way more aggressive expansion right, uh, in after this war, and that would mean Vishnu would be good. Alright, let's do another invention. Oh, Omen Power. Would have been nice to have that ahead of time. That was kind of unfortunate. Should have realized that. Um, so let's not take it right now. We don't need the import route, really. Territory opinion. We don't have it. We might get some monthly tyranny. Let's do Fort Defense. Pretender support still present. It's been out there for quite a, some time now. Uh, there's a fort up here, but I'm not too too keen on going there. Oh, hello! We got ourselves an opponent. Unite over here. So, let's take that into account. We got an opponent over here. Let's lower the speed of Wii a little bit. Apparently this city... R yeah, it has like no population. Why? Occupied, looted, wow. Well, that population is dying, yo.
Let's go over here. We'll take that with the larger stacks. But yeah, we need to take care of this business, which is why I sent all these armies down here. Uh, yeah, I do want the 13th stack also to move. Because we need to take care of this army. But I don't want to stand still at this front. Well, at least you took care of it, and the Marian Revolt is pushing out again. So, that's why I want to grab a few things from here, just to make sure that the Marian Revolt doesn't grab too much. Uh, or, uh, yeah, doesn't swim back full, full swing. Death. That did not change our cabinet. I thought they said Magistrate. No, um, now I'm not sure why they said that. Are you moving at all? Yeah, you are. You're just really, really slow. To move. Alright. And there's a Marion Revolt army. The problem is, of course, Maria can move for the Marion Revolt, but I cannot. So it's a little tougher for me to see where they're gonna go. Yeah, it's a good m move to already push south. So we're going to try and... Mm, mm, Put this 20 army to, to, to stack into trouble. Now we need all of Anga to start getting war scores. So that's probably why they're also moving uh, around here. So that's why we're actually going to make one aggressive move. Siege wise. We'll split off one unit. Doesn't really matter what it is. And in case you're wondering, why are you always doing two? Do you need two? Is that the minimal? No, 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 that's, that's not the case. I'm doing this in order to prevent that if I have some attrition, uh, I won't be able to siege at all, because you do need at least 1,000. So you need at least one cohort. Yeah, they're still moving south. Unite, we now lack... So Chola, you're in there. I think I may have united too many men into this army. Yeah, because the the light warriors should not be in this army. They should be in that army. I'm not sure why this army is so slow to move. I mean, don't get me wrong, I understand that terrain is like, uh, like, not good to move, but there is a limit, yo. I think they're going to Yaira, but this is interesting because we have a fort over there, so they shouldn't be able to just, like, instantly go there. Starving population, still. Alright, let's go for another one, then. Because I'm not going to move a lot of people around when I'm also tacking up like crazy. Hey, hello. Hopefully you can manage to keep hold on that thing for some time. And there's also another army coming. Okay, good to know. So they started sieging this. Now, I want to attack them with overwhelming odds, to be honest. So I'm going to go over there, going to go over there. 
Oh, oops. Now I know why I... That's you guys. And he, that he's desieging this doesn't matter at all because we will recapture that with our fort. I'm more curious about where this army is going. He's going over here. That's going to be interesting because I'm going to go and grab that there. This is still going to be a fight. So where are you going? You're going over there. We're going to go inward. We'll meet him over there. And let's hope this one pays out for me. Whoa, hey, ho, ho. What? You're moving back in order to go forward? That feels a little... S no, no. Ho, ho. Yo! Oh, you're no longer loyal to me. You're just doing your own thing. Right. Okay. Have it your way. Uh, go over there. We need this army over to be over here. That's fine. You're sieging up. Uh... We become friends with Kalinga, sure. Not sure if this will come in time as we're trying to get this done. Trying to. I, I should have force marched. Oh, come on! Don't leave me this ha hanging like this. Where are you going? You're going towards the fort. Good idea! Because you're locked in. You are wholly trapped. Uh, you are part of this province, so we're going to go and grab you. Uh, you might just arrive in time. Hopefully you as well. Come on, jump in. Oh, you're just too late. Really? That feels very sucky. Because now we have a huge force retreating. Oh, come on. Don't let me have all near near misses. Thank you. This should, should even the odds like crazy. Alright, we won over there. So you can pull back. Deselect this. Unite this. Nope. Other way around. Select you. Go down there. Select you. Take that. Uh, I don't know where the 9,000 is going, but we'll grab that with this army. And these three weakened armies, can you combine, please? Because you're just one weak army. Who's going through terrain I'm not supposedly allowed to go through. That's convenient. Thank you for the retreat. Just weird. Um, sure, we'll take this. We'll take that. Because this army I can't rely on to do anything proper. We are going to fight this for sure. They are going to counter us. That's fine. I'll start grabbing this. This fight should be ours. And that should be a major victory in the war. Because I think, I believe that this is the army that's defending. Oh, mother. Fine. The problem is now that the other army is back. Who's going to crush these two cohorts? Can I not disband you? Order full retreat. Okay, that's... Mm, different than what I had in mind, but that will work. You're gonna... Oh, I thought you were gonna come back to me, but no, you're gonna take... The rebels have taken you out. Sure, I can live with that. So... 
our War of Mario is going a little slower than normal. It's because also I have the speed, of course, pretty slow. Full Retreat has been engaged, though, so it should be fine. Now it's about re-taking the Upper Realms. What in the world? Why is Mario Black flagged all the way over here? They have an army behind me. Just randomly. Just I'm just going to put it behind me. National population growth. Absolutely. And then rural popularity gain is probably also a good one. Th these are... I like those stacks. A lot. Uh, I don't enjoy, however, what's happening over here. You are supposed to be with which army? This army. So if you can just make a short stop over there. The fact that they're just... They're, they're going to put an army behind me. For free, because it's black flagged. And it's just going to be for me, like, okay, I can't do anything about that. Well, that that sucks. Um, so, I think my dastardly evil plan is failing, however. I did not want to claim this province because I wanted to get here, but I don't know if I have enough armies here in order to safely do this. In order to comfortably grab what I want to grab. And perhaps I should have gone for this province. Funga, because uh, I, I'm already grabbing that, so I would have had ticking war score on that one. Um, deselect you. Combine you. Move up. That's basically now the idea. You're going to support this army. And you'll have to come back up. Oh, Kalinga is actually now sieging. So they might actually be able to reunite their country. Alright. Uh, however, we are definitely... Oh, cancel. Not Don't want the mercenaries. We are definitely doing, however, everything in our power to siege them up from the south. Um, but it's only 6 war score right now. It's because the ticking war score is in their favor. Oh, and there are... White piece imminent? No. No. No way, Jose. Not happening. Uh, wow. The amount of slaves that we have in this territory is just ridiculously high. And I don't have the power to move them all, so yes, I'm going to have to build another one of these. Even if I... The problem is, what I, I don't like as much is that sometimes they get destroyed. Um, the... Um, sometimes they get destroyed, the, f um, the buildings you've made. Uh, you know what? Sure. Put you on that one. Poromba's still mad, despite the fact that I just gave them... The only admiralty we have in the freaking nation. Just want to point that out there, Poromba. I just need to be careful where these guys are going. You are allowed to siege behind me. Just... Mm, I'm just going to do that. That makes no freaking sense. You black flagged into territory I captured. And now you're desieging it, so now I'm going to have to siege it all over again. Kaligan Civil War ends. Okay, so they they, they captured in the end. Uh, they are locked in. So I say we're going to move in. Uh, this is going to be an interesting battle. Because they're also going to probably force these guys to come in. Um, let me just put this back. Because I doubt that they will siege... I hope they won't siege instantaneously my fort. Let me put it better, because uh, I'm not trusting everything. Oh, hello, you have 12,000 over here. Good to know. Let me move my 21,000 stack around. Yeah, these provinces are very much captured. Because these are impassable terrains. So, I definitely gave the Marian Revolt another 
big time recovery uh, possibility. Just how much more of the province is there? Yeah, it's because you just DC the louder that you're. Are you seriously kidding me? You just instant won that. I had no time to defend. Are you kidding me? You said we're going to win this, but instead what you do is you're going to make us lose instantaneously. Wow. Well, with that, I'm going to end the episode because I kind of have to. I'm going to have to siege this province because we kind of have to for the, the imminent peace deal that's about to happen. And I am pretty pissed with what the game just did there. And so like, oh no, you're going to win that. And then like, oh wait, you're going to instantly lose that before you even have the chance to reinforce. Um, will you please give me a better accurate description of what is going to happen? Because I'm really relying on those and I, I guess I just shouldn't. Well, with that, I say I thank you for watching. And remember, great peril yields great beauty.